Hello everybody, hopefully your quarantine is still going all right. Mine's not going too bad. So this video is going to be off of Biden's response to Bernie. Bernie is allowing himself to be voted upon in the election process right now, even though he's not actually still running. Bernie says that he wants to allow people to vote for him so he still has influence in the election process and can push progressive policies. So Biden is trying to get a little bit more progressive and going left as opposed to right. So a summary version for those of you guys who are balling on a time budget is that Biden wants to drop the Medicare age from 65 to 60 and cancel student loan debt for middle and lower class Americans. Now I'm going to go into the facts of the situation, whether that's enough, things that he still has left to answer, and all my sources are in the description box below. Okay, so I got the story from The Hill, so here is what The Hill has to say about the situation. Quote, Biden announced Thursday he would lower the Medicare eligibility age to 60 and forgive federal student debt for low-income and middle-class people who attended public colleges and universities, historically black colleges and universities, and underfunded minority-serving institutions. Okay, cool. My response. How many Americans as a whole are dying every single year because they're uninsured? It's 45,000 according to Harvard. 45,000 people die a year because they don't have health insurance. <laughs> that's, uh, you know, that's actually not surprising. I want to be honest. That's really not surprising. Now, I'm going to like dig a little bit deeper here and try to like get into the weeds of the situation and show you guys the real severity of the situation. Now, in addition to that, 137 million Americans struggle to pay their bills every year if they're able to actually pay their bills. 137, 66.5% of bankruptcies are as a result of medical debt. Okay, 45,000 people die every single year. Now, we are approaching, at the very moment, a pandemic that's expected to affect a majority of Americans, kill a minimum of 200,000, and is at the same time has the potential of killing millions of Americans. We are currently embarking on having the highest unemployment rate in the history of the United States of America at 30%. The Great Depression was 21%. We could potentially have the largest population of homeless people as well because people can't afford to live. In addition to that as well, over a trillion dollars in student loan debt, which doesn't even equal the number one source of debt, which is medical bills. So if this were, oh God, see, I'm already going on a rant. I can feel it. God, if this was a field fire, there's somebody running. You can see them in the distance. They're just running. They're running. They're running. They're going. And everybody separates. And everybody's like, oh God, this guy's got the solution. He runs up and he's like, hey, everybody, don't worry. I got it. Ready for this? He pulls out a beaker, a little beaker of water, and he puts an eye drop in it. And he runs. And he just kind of, ah, just kind of throws it. Throws the dropper. A couple drops sprinkled, just a little tss, right on the field burning. Everybody stops and looks at him. And finally, one person has the courage to say, what? what are you doing? And the guy who threw the eyedropper full of water was like, hey, it's better than nothing. Incremental change. You're acting like people are dying. Jesus. And then the majority of the people who are watching the field burn are either on fire or are affected by the field burning. And they look at him like, buddy, Aren't you running for office and you're trying to get our votes and you just threw a freaking eyedropper into the water while we're all dying? And he's like, you know what? <laughs> Why don't you stop supporting these pie in the sky policies? That's what this person would say. The point I have here is, is this really a good time to go have these on an ideal that will affect your campaign your shots at presidency, and could very well kill the nation or save them and be their savior. Is this something to go have these on? I don't need to give my opinion. Y'all already know it. <laughs> so if this is enough to vote for Biden, <laughs> I think most things are better than Trump. Now you could say they're even, let's just hype it. They're not. Even if we were to say they are, the fact that Biden might go back into the Paris agreement would automatically send him above. 
Now you could tell me, well, Zach, hold on a second, but we need to have a statement that, look, we need change right now. So we're going to suffer now and benefit later when politicians start to rise up who support our policies. Well, that is why Bernie Sanders is still staying in. So worst case scenario, I would say just until Trump is out of office, it'd probably be preferable to vote for Biden if, if he continues to push farther into the progressive policies. Remember, I'm the one throwing the eye drop example, right? Got a little eye drops and he's trying to throw it in a field fire. Is that really doing a lot of good? No, but it's, a lot of this is also going to be based off of who he has as vice president. Hope to God it's not Kamala Harris. If we're being brutally honest, don't even get me started. I already made a video on that one. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. Live long and prosper or don't if you're not into that. Maybe after the pandemic. Let's just put it that way.